Hi, this is James, and I'm here with the Oracle Outlook for the week starting March the 20th, 2017. This week, I'm going to be working with the Lenormand because it's been a while, and the deck that I'm working with for this week's reading is the newest Lenormand deck in my collection. It is the Lilac Dondorf, and so what I like about this particular deck, if you're familiar with the traditional Dondorf, you'll know that the man and woman cards, the significator cards, they are each facing the same direction. So they are facing to the right. So one of the challenges I've always had with this deck is that when you're working on doing a relationship reading, let's say, between a man and a woman, that the significator cards would never be in a position where they would be actually looking at each other or facing one another. And so when the cards are facing one another, it suggests like they're in agreement, you know, they're seeing um, each other, they have eyes for one another, that kind of energy. And so you don't get to see that in the particular traditional Dondorf version. Well, this variation has corrected that because it has included in it an extra man and woman card, and each one of those is facing the opposite direction. So now we have two men cards, one facing to the left, one facing to the right, two women cards, one facing to the left, one facing to the right. So regardless of whether you're doing a, uh, a man-woman, a heterosexual relationship reading, or you're doing a gay or lesbian relationship reading, the significators will now be able to potentially show up in a reading where they are facing one another. So that is the biggest sell for me for this particular deck, other than the fact that I do like the traditional Dondorf version. So again, that is the Lilac Dondorf, and so now I have the deck on hand on the table, so I'm going to take it, and I'm going to be shuffling the cards. And as I do for each one of my general readings, I am asking the question, what do we need to know for the week ahead? So I'm feeling one more time will be good. Now I'm cutting the deck. I'm going to fan the cards out. And if you're no stranger to my Lenormand videos, and you know I love working with a line of five, so I'm picking five cards from the fan. The ones that grab my attention. So now I have the five cards picked, so I'm going to take the remainder of the deck and put it aside. So now with the five cards face down in front of me, I always start with my line of fives for these readings. I always start with the middle card. The middle card for me can tell us what the focus is for the week or the central issue. So the card is the bear. So the bear is a card for me. My keyword associations for this typically are always power and strength. So we may have issues this week where we are dealing with our own sense of personal power or something having to do with a situation or experience that's going to make us stronger or that we are going to have some um, to apply some physical strength or some inner strength in it, you know, in resolving the situation or moving through it. So those are some of my personal association with it. Whenever I see the bear, I tend to think of somebody who has a lot of control, somebody who has a lot of power. So for me, this card is like the boss card. So it could be somebody who is a, an actual boss, somebody who has a leadership position, somebody who has some sort of authority, uh, some sort of expertise, uh, somebody who has some sort of influence. So I'm seeing that as possibilities for the bear card. So now, having said that, the Norman is best read in pairs and combinations. So now we have to look at the other cards surrounding this card to give us more information as to the specific aspects of bear for the week. So what I do is I always go one step out. So I'm looking at the card on the immediate left and the immediate right. So we have garden on the immediate left and we have tower on the immediate right, so this is very interesting. So now, Garden, the card on the left, for me is a card that can represent things having to do with either the outdoors, could be something having to do with something social, something having to do with 
a gathering for me keywords with this card are gatherings uh, community groups things of that nature it could also be you know again outdoor spaces um, um, social gathering spaces public spaces things where people congregate it could also be a social venue something of that nature but it could also literally mean like a park because one of the other names for this card is the park so it could be a park or some sort of outdoor environment so now if we take bear and garden or garden and bear as a pairing it could be you know a uh, a group leader you know somebody who heads up some sort of um, community um, it could be a powerful community if we go with the idea that bear is power you know it could be like the community is coming into their own sense of power something of that nature could even be you know a meeting you know if we go with the idea of social venues it could be a meeting with somebody who holds some sort of influence somebody who holds some sort of power like a you know um I'm seeing like the term like a power meeting, kind of like a, a power nap, because at first I saw power nap and they like a, like a power meeting. So it could be like a meeting, you know, where it's full of um, powerful people or influential people, you know, or people who have some sort of authority. So I'm seeing that as garden on the one side. Now tower on the other. <laughs> Very interesting. Tower for me is a card that can represent institutions. So this card could be uh, institutions, and when I see that, I usually think about like companies, corporations, firms, you know, that kind of thing. Somebody who like does big business. You know, the other thing with this card is tower can represent somebody who is uh, in or going through some sort of isolation or withdrawal, because this card can represent isolation or withdrawal. So going with tower coming after bear it could be you know a a person who is you know the leader of a company or a corporation you know leader of an institution leader of a firm could be like if we go with the idea that bear is somebody who holds some sort of authority or power then the um tower can represent like somebody who holds office so it could be like an official person you know, because I tend to look at tower as something having to do with something becoming official. It could be like maybe somebody is, you know, working on becoming a manager, supervisor, leader um, within their company and uh, corporation or organization. And there may be like a promotion that becomes official this week, like it's official. You know, kind of like a group leader. And then, you know, they move into the position where they become you know, uh, maybe like a corporate manager or something of like that. I'm seeing that kind of scenario playing out. But it could also just be like uh, with garden and, and tower, you know, flanking bear. It could be like an official group. It could be a group within a company, a group within an organization. It could be um, like an employee group, a, you know, group of people within an existing company, corporation, institution. So I'm seeing that. And it could be like a meeting with a uh, leader from a company, institution, something of that nature. So I'm seeing those as possibilities with garden and tower. Now I'm looking, I'm looking at the playing card inserts and I'm, I'm noticing that both garden and tower both have a suit of spades as their playing card inserts. And so spades as a suit specifically with Lenormand, or at least that's my experience with Lenormand, can represent service. So it could be something having to do with public service, going with garden. Garden for me would represent public service, you know, and then tower would be something of an official capacity, but service related. So there's some possibilities there with that. Um, so I'm seeing that now. To give us more information, we could look to the outer cards. So on the one side, we have the lady card, and on the end on the far right we have bouquet okay so now here with the lady card on the far left when the lady card comes up if you're watching this video and you happen to be a woman the lady card would be considered your significator right so there's that aspect of it so for you this could be something that you are directly involved in or something that is important to you something that's significant to you if you are a man watching this video it could be that the lady card represents a woman close to you or a woman who figures into the situation uh, with a place of prominence somebody who's very important somebody who's significant something of that nature now the lady card is facing to the 
left of the line, which means that all the cards to the right, meaning like all the remaining cards are behind her. So this could be like facing the future in one regard, facing the left would be facing the future, but each card that's behind her represents some elements of the past. So it could be like working through something that has recently happened this week. So it could be like something you've recently experienced and it's kind of like playing out still or it's going to be playing into what could you could be experiencing this week moving forward. So there's that possibility with that. Now going to the other side of the line, we have Bouquet. Bouquet is a card that for me can represent um, a gift, it could represent an invitation, it could represent a surprise, um, could represent something having to do with another woman going with the Queen of Spades. The Queen of Spades makes this what we call a face card or a court card. So we have the lady card on one end and now we have um, the Queen of Spades, which is another woman on the other end. So it could be like a situation between two women, you know, being at opposite ends of the line could be like saying to like, there may be a sense of disagreement and kind of working through that disagreement. Could be like each woman is seeing the situation a different way. It could be like the queen of spades facing the direction of the lady card. And now the lady card, remember, has her back to the rest of the line. So it could be like she's trying to gain the attention of this other woman. So it could be that. Now, bouquet is also a card that can represent, you know, um, going with the gift aspect, a reward, you know, some sort of appreciation, some sort of honor. It could also be like someone's talent is being acknowledged or a, uh, it being appreciated, you know, because I tend to look at this card as talent and also creativity. So it could be like whatever the situation is with the bear. Remember now, bear is the central issue. So if there is something having to do with a power, because now I'm seeing like a potentially a power struggle between the two women. Could also be too, like with the lady card, bear paired with that would describe the lady as maybe possibility she is a powerful woman. She's the woman who holds this um, uh, position of authority or leadership or influence. It could also be too, going with the idea, I sometimes look at bear as something being overbearing or overprotective. So it could be a woman who comes across as overbearing, you know, um, overprotective, so much so that maybe she's kind of smothering in a way. So there's that possibility. If we go with the idea here that pairing bear and um, bouquet at the end of the line, bouquet, remember I said was gift, it was a reward, it was a surprise. It could be like this person is in the process of assuming a leadership position. So it could be coming as a, a, you know, a surprise, it could be a surprise promotion, a surprise development, it could be like the person gets an invitation to take on that kind of leadership role, um, to, partic to participate in that way in the organization or the company, or that it is some sort of appreciation for work that's already been done. Now remember, the lady card is, you know, facing the opposite of all these other cards. So these are things that could have already been done. This could be a recently assuming a leadership position, um, could be recently having a, meet, a meeting of an official capacity with a group of people. You know, that kind of thing could also be a function. You know, if we go with Garden being the most recent card behind the lady card, Garden would suggest a social event, you know, a, a public, uh, meeting, uh, you know, something being made public. Could be a woman being acknowledged publicly about some recent change in an organization or institution or firm that she's been a part of, you know, and getting some sort of public acknowledgement for her talent um, for whatever she's done in that sphere and being acknowledged that way. So those are some, poss uh, some possibilities, I was going to say, with that line, or with the line. But with the pairing of lady and bouquet, could be an attractive lady, could be a beautiful lady, could be a surprised woman, you know, could be a woman who's very pleasant. I'm going to also go with the idea it could represent, you know, something going on between two women specifically. You know, it could even be like one woman is acknowledging the other woman, and with the lady <laughs> not facing her, it could be an issue about... Um, not acknowledging the fact that you've been acknowledged, 
you know, something like that. The, the overriding thing that I'm, I'm seeing in the cards with the playing card inserts is that four out of the five cards come from the suit of spades. So again, we have something having to do with something service related. You know, so it could be like an opportunity to serve or the ladies provided some service that she's being acknowledged for or that there is some sort of service related function or event, you know, something that's being done as a way of serving people, serving a community, serving an audience, something I've been, um, seeing like serving a population or a demographic. If we go with the idea that the tower is big business, you know, corporate entity, you know, something having to do with either possibly either something federal, state, governmental, you know, something of that nature, some sort of institution, then it would be about like, you know, um, providing a service along those lines. So taking a step back and saying, what do I need to say about the line that I have not already said? So I guess in summing up, we have a situation where it could be either a woman is involved. If you're a woman watching this, it could be directly speaking to you or involving you or um, connected to you, um, going with the queen of spades on the opposite end. It could be another woman involved. It, if you're a man watching this video, a lady card could represent a woman who's connected to you, a woman who's close to you, or a woman who figures prominently in the situation. Garden is about, you know, uh, something being made public, you know, something having to do with a social event, a gathering, something having to do with maybe something having to do with a, a community or a group of some kind, something of that. The bear at the heart of the line represents issues dealing with power, so we could be having issues, you know, um, with our power, so we have to be mindful of who we're giving our power away to. Are we in the process of reclaiming power? Could be an issue having to do with a boss, somebody who's in a position of authority or control, you know, somebody who is of influence. So we have to watch the people who we are allowing to influence us this week, possibly, you know, and maybe like not coming across as so controlling, domineering, overpowering something of that nature. Could be assuming some level of responsibility because I'm seeing the word burden. You know, so it could be like, you know, uh, not being overburdened by other people or the demands of other people this week. So that just came in, so I'm going to put that out there. Tower represents maybe, you know, the, with the dichotomy of garden on the other side of it. Could be like, you know, maybe finding time between being surrounded by people and maybe finding time for ourselves. You know, how can we kind of adjust that? Maybe there's a sense of balancing the power, meeting the needs of the other people, because I'm seeing power of the people. <laughs> so that the power, that kind of power versus the power of being on our own, you know, having quality time, separate time, time to be with ourselves, some withdrawal time. So maybe kind of balancing that out. And then of course, with bouquet at the end, could be like if there is a meeting, something having to do with a group of people, there could be some sort of gift involved in that. I'm seeing more of like an invitation being extended to that, you know, some form of appreciation. But with the lens, all of this is designed about like service. So I'm seeing like it's about balancing the needs of servicing or serving people, other people, and making sure that we are serving our own needs this week. So on that note, I will wrap up and end this week's Oracle Outlook. As I close, I'm Jameson Mitchell, and I'd like to thank you for sharing space here with me for this week's reading, and I look forward to sharing the same space with you again in our next video reading together. So until then, I'm hoping that you have a wonderful day, and I'm hoping that you have a wonderful week. Take care.